Good afternoon. I'm Ashley and I am going to show you how to make chicken tikka masala. I chose this as my final project and I'm pretty interested to see how it goes. So come with me and let's see how um, we make marinade. Here we have the ingredients to start off the marinade. I chose a fattier, a little bit fattier piece of chicken so it can take on the flavor. A cup of Greek yogurt, pepper, cinnamon powder, lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon, a ginger, which is mint, salt, and as well as cumin. And since I didn't have some crushed red pepper, I decided to just use Korean red pepper. Now we're going to take all the set ingredients and mix them into the chicken. In addition to the um, chicken, we do have some bamboo skewers soaking in water so when we uh, broil the chicken in the oven, it doesn't burn. So we'll let that soak for a bit. The yogurt, I chose a Greek yogurt so we can have it just add a little bit more protein. And then next, after adding the ingredients, just take your hands and mix it all together. After mixing, just clean the edges of the bowl. If you don't have a saran wrap, I have a lid, so therefore, that is why I am taking it. So we're going to cover it and then at least refrigerate for one hour and we'll be come back to it in a few hours and we'll do the sauce and start to cook it. It's now been two hours. I let it marinate just a little bit more and now I skewered all six bamboo skewers and all the chicken pieces all fit on there and just like I said make sure the skewers are wet so that they don't burn so much while they're broiling on high heat for about at least 20 minutes and turn it over twice. Now to make the sauce we have garlic, coriander, paprika, butter, jalapeno, cumin, garam masala, a tablespoon of salt as well as tomato sauce to give it that color and a quarter cup of whipping cream diluted with three quarters cups of water. While the meat is in the broiler, uh, take the butter now, a tablespoon of butter, and then make sure your pan is hot enough. Also, don't burn the butter. We don't want to brown it. Then we're going to add the garlic and jalapenos and cook for one minute. Let it just saute a bit. After the garlic and jalapenos have sauteed a bit, we're now going to add the aromatics, the paprika, the garam masala, more cumin, salt, ground coriander, and such, and just mix it up and saute it just a bit just to let the flavors come about. So that's what I'm doing here. So it'll be dark in a bit, just don't toast it too much, just toast it so there's enough flavor coming out. The tomato sauce is now going to be mixed in with the spices and make sure it's mixed well because we're going to let it simmer for 15 minutes while they all metal together. After at least 15 minutes in the oven and turn rotated twice, the chicken is now done and just let it be cool before we add it into our sauce. <music> Lastly, before the chicken is added, the cream and water mixture is added into the tomato base and we're going to let it simmer for a bit to thicken. Finally, it's time to add the chicken into the sauce and this is why we let it cool down so it's easier to handle. So slowly slide off each chicken piece and be careful the sauce will be hot so just not, try not to splash yourself with the sauce. just mix the chicken in with the sauce and let simmer at least five more minutes and then you're gonna be ready to eat just momentarily garnish with freshly chopped cilantro also known as coriander leaves and then you're all set to eat serve with your favorite type of rice of jasmine rice non bread or even a pizza